So I've been a pretty regular buyer of the leather cases from Apple. However, this year they haven't done any leather cases. For sustainability reasons and stuff like that, they've just stopped doing leather cases, leather products in general. Um, I actually used this one last year, the brown leather on my iPhone 14 Pro, and this is actually the black from the year before. It's more midnight rather than black. But yeah, I loved these cases. I pretty much used them nearly every single day in my ownership of those two phones over the last two years. But now that Apple has stopped doing the leather ones, to replace the leather cases, Apple have now gone with this new type of case calling, well, they're calling it the fine woven case. They say that it's made from a durable micro twill. The material has a soft suede-like feel. I wouldn't describe it as a suede sort of feel. It almost feels like Alcantara, but it's not Alcantara. It's sort of a mix between Alcantara, microfiber, and maybe a little bit of suede, but I don't think it feels very suede-like. If anything, I don't think it's great at all. I actually think it is not worth the money. I don't think it's a great case. It scratches up pretty easily. I'm not really a fan of it. This one also is black, but it's not really black, is it? Because when you compare it with something like this, which is black, or this leather case, which is also black, yeah, it looks more like a midnight blue. I feel like it doesn't really look actually black. The color is not really the issue. It's the material. The frame of it is, I assume, TPU or some sort of plastic or something, um, rubbery sort of plastic. And then they have this sort of fine woven layer on top. I'm really not a fan of it. I'll be honest with you. I can see why Apple have done this, but I am personally not a fan. So this year is really the first year where I'm on a proper hunt for a bunch of cases, really. I'm, I'm on the hunt for the perfect iPhone case. And these are some of the top picks that I've come across right now. So, I mean, I might as well just leave the Apple one there because it looks nice and symmetrical, but these are some of my top picks right now. And these are only a few. There are so many iPhone cases out there. I feel like it's impossible to cover them all. But I have tried a lot. I've tried some really cheap ones, some really premium ones. Right now, in like what, the iPhone has been out for a month. These are some of my favorites. I wouldn't be surprised if this changes in the future, maybe in a few months time, maybe six months time, it could be completely different. But right now, these are some of my favorites and ones that I would recommend checking out. So we'll start with the lower priced cases first. So we're starting with the lower priced cases on this side, and then we're getting more and more premium as we go along. So we'll first start with the Rhino Shield cases. And I really like these ones. I have the beige colorway here and I have the black here. I do have two others. I also have the olive and sort of like blush pink colorways here. I'm mostly not really a fan of these colors. I, I prefer the more neutral colors, but they do offer so many other colors. But yeah, I have the neutral ones here, the shell and the black. I really, really like these cases. They go for $45. Uh, I think they might be going for even cheaper on Amazon. They're made from a TPE material and they're actually quite thick. I wanna say they're quite bulky. Uh, but that's obviously a good thing for people who are looking for that extra protection. It's not meant to be a super thin case. It's meant to actually do a good job of protecting your phone. And with how thick it is and the, and the corners especially being quite rigid, I can see this being very good for drops and scrapes and things like that. The buttons on it are also really good. They're very tactile. I can definitely tell when the phone is in the case. I can tell that I'm hitting all the buttons when I do use the case. And what I've noticed out of all of the other cases here is that the MagSafe magnet in the back is by far the strongest it's actually absurdly strong and for people who are looking for the extra strength I would highly recommend checking this case out or choosing this case over all the other ones here whenever I have it hooked up on my desk or in the car especially in the car I think that's when it's most useful because you're obviously accelerating and braking you'd want the magnet to stay to be strong you want the phone to be solid on there and this is definitely the best one for that like uh, I was so impressed by the magnet in this for some people it might actually be too strong if you're someone who has a MagSafe charger on your desk if that MagSafe charger doesn't have any weight in it, you'll actually end up lifting the MagSafe charger. So that could be an issue for some people, but most MagSafe chargers these days have some sort of weight on them because they know that people will be taking their phones on and off. They don't want to be lifting the whole charger. So yeah, these Rhino Shield ones, great if you're looking for something, very minimal, very clean, has a good amount of protection. And I think for the price, it's pretty decent. Next up, we have two by Spigen. We'll start with this one first because this one is actually my favorite. It sort of emulates the classic uh, Mac design. It's called the Classic C1. It's currently going for $30 on Amazon from when I last looked. And yeah, this is the graphite colorway. They do a sort of teal, bluey sort of colorway too. And they also do a ruby colorway as well. So if you don't like the graphite, there are some other colors to choose from. I wasn't sure about this case when I first saw it because it's not really my sort of style. It's not very minimal. There's lots of sort of elements going on here, lots of design, 
Now that I have it, I actually really, really like it. I surprisingly like it more than I thought I would. The case also sort of works in two elements. You can actually take off the bottom like so, and then you can take off this as well. So it comes away. So yeah, that is the case, the cover sort of taken off the case. And this is just sort of like a plastic shell. Same with this element down here. It's more of like a, a plastic shell. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the look of this case. And what I noticed with this case is that when it's actually on the iPhone, it makes it feel and look like an iPhone 3G because the sides of the case are curved just like the iPhone 3G. And when you have it with your phone inside, you have this silver frame that goes around. And again, it just looks very much like the iPhone 3G. It's really, really nice. I do like this case. I think if you're looking for a sort of classic design with some good protection because it is rubber on the inside, this is pretty awesome. They also have the Ultra Hybrid Zero One. This is currently going for $20 on Amazon, and I think that's like a limited time only. I don't know how long that's gonna stay there for, but this is pretty interesting. It basically shows the elements of the phone as stickers. I mean, they're sort of like stickers on the case, and there's different layers as well. So it gives a sort of three dimensionality to it. The only thing with this case that I don't like is that the stickers I think need to be a bit sharper, like the text and the lines. I think they need to be a bit sharper. They look a bit fuzzy. Maybe I'm being a bit too picky because it's not really meant to be a sort of premium case, but yeah. It has a sort of translucent design on the sides as well. And what, another thing I completely forgot to mention actually is that all of these cases have a good camera protection lip on them, which I think is really important because for me, I'm someone who very much loves the camera on my iPhone. I wanna make sure those lenses are protected. Even though they're super, super tough anyway, I do know that there's some sort of like crazy crystal or whatever, I can't remember exactly what the material is, but you don't wanna scratch it. If you can give it extra protection, why wouldn't you? So it's nice to see that all these cases have lips around the camera lenses. This is a nice case, the buttons are also nice. I think for the price that it goes for, I think if you can get it for the deal that it's going for at $20, I think it's worth it. I think the regular retail price is like $55, $60, which I think actually makes it quite pricey. I'm not sure if it's worth it at that sort of price point, but it does have a very particular and interesting style that you won't really find anywhere else. Even with all of those case recommendations, if you're someone who prefers to free up your pockets, TomTok have some awesome sling bags that are perfect for securely holding your iPhone and other accessories. Thanks to them for also sponsoring this video. I have the black one here, but they also offer a ton of different colors and they have three different sizes. This is the small four liter version that can fit up to an iPad mini. I'm even able to fit my Sony A7C in here, which is impressive. There is also the seven liter, which can fit an 11 inch iPad Pro and a 10 liter, which can fit a 14 inch MacBook Pro. There are three different compartments, a front compartment for quick access to things like AirPods or keys, a larger middle compartment for larger belongings. There's a divider and two mesh pockets to also help organize your things. Finally, a rear compartment, which is thin and is perfectly designed to store more valuable things like a wallet or some cash. This specific one is made from Cordura Ballistic Nylon, which is very sturdy, lightweight and water resistant. There's also the X-Pack version, which is the same design, but it's 100% waterproof. So if you're someone who's more likely to use the sling bag in bad weather, this is ideal for you. Make sure to check out these TomTok sling bags. I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. Next up, we have Mujo, and these Mujo ones are made from real leather. This is the brand one I have here. And yeah, this is definitely a bit more luxurious compared to the other plastic cases that we've just covered. On the inside, there's a really nice microfiber as well. And of course, there is a MagSafe uh, magnet inside as well. What I really like about this case is the buttons. You can see the buttons have this almost sort of like goldy, browny, bronzy color to them. And I really, really like that. I think it just adds a bit of class to the case. Same with the camera protection ring, has that same sort of thing. And then we also have it on the power button as well. If you're looking for a sort of tan brown sort of case, this might be one of the best ones you can get right now. I really do like the color of this. I think it's a very nice, luxurious, classy color. The only thing I don't like is that if you can see it, there's quite a large Muji logo on the bottom. I wish that was smaller or I wish it was on the side, just like Rhino Shield do. Rhino Shield do their logo on the side. I wish it was on the side of something because I think it would look so much cleaner without the Mujo logo on it. But hey, it's one of their cases. They obviously want to get their branding out there. I completely get it. They also, of course, have the black one and the black one again follows the same type of leather really high quality feeling, has some good protection as well. It is quite thin. It's not going to give you as much protection as the Rhino Shield and the Spigen cases, I don't think, mainly because it's thinner. But of course you're getting leather here, you know, you're getting a much more luxurious type of material here. 
And if you are looking for a leather case, yeah, these are pretty good ones to go for. Next up, we have a case from Nomad. And Nomad actually have a bunch of different cases. This one specifically is the modern leather case in a rustic brown. This specific colorway and this specific type of leather goes for $70. So it's not cheap, $70, but I do think out of all of these other cases here, I do think it's the nicest one. I do think it's the nicest one in terms of design, material, and just the way the case itself feels, the tolerances as well, and the sort of roundedness. It is an incredible case. Like I think for $70, it's actually worth the money. When I first saw the case on the website, I was very unsure about how the leather and the sides aren't matching. Like for example, the Mujo case, the leather goes all the way around, but on this Nomad case, it only goes up to you know the edge and then the rest of it is, I think it's like some sort of plastic TPU rubbery sort of material. Now that I have it in the hand and I've, I've sort of been using it, I actually think it works really well. It works better than I expected and it looks incredible. I do like this TPU material and I like what they've done with the edge here. It has a sort of groove in the middle, the power button has a sort of texture on it, it has some lines on it to, so that you can feel it under your thumb. And I can definitely tell it's there. And I really like the placement of the Nomad logo here. It's very, very minimal. The buttons as well are clicky as expected. And the inside has a sort of microfiber lining. And of course it has the MagSafe magnet as well. However, there is one issue with this case, which I noticed. And I, I, can, I can also see why they've done it. The MagSafe magnet is not as strong as if you were using it without a case, and it's definitely not as strong as the Rhino Shield case. And the reason why is because I think they don't want to damage the leather. You can already see the rings that are coming, that are appearing from me using this on my charges. Naturally, that's just going to happen. That's part of using a case like this and using MagSafe. You could avoid it by not using MagSafe altogether if you're very particular about keeping the leather looking absolutely perfect. But I actually quite like it. I like how over time, because it's real leather, it will age, it will mark up, it will add character to the case. I really like that. It's why I like um, this one here. A lot of people are not a fan of this brown case that Apple did last year because they feel like it doesn't age well, but I quite like it. I, it, I'm, it might just be me. I quite like how it's faded and the colors pretty awful looking and stuff. I actually think it looks pretty nice, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. I like it and I think I don't think this one will be as bad as that one, but I think it will age really, really well. And then finally, we probably have the most ridiculous case of them all, which I recently bought, by the way. I bought this case. It costs $180, which is just outrageous. $180 for an iPhone case. But I can kind of see it and I can kind of don't. <laughs> the best way to explain this case is that it's obviously by a designer brand, Remoa. So it has the nice, super luxurious, super nice aluminium design that they have on their suitcases. Really nice Remoa logo placement. And the rest of it is made from a sort of TPU plastic sort of material. And it's not gray, but it's not white. It is very much actually like the natural titanium color. However, <laughs> there's one big issue with this case, which is absurd, but also again, makes sense. There is no MagSafe and there is no wireless charging. Because you, of course, have an aluminum plate here, the charging can't go through that and the magnets can't go through it. That really makes it very limiting on what you can do with it. It's an absolutely stunning case. It's probably the nicest case here, the best feeling, the most luxurious, but yeah, you can't charge wirelessly through it. You can't use MagSafe or anything like that. And the issue is everything that I do now is MagSafe or wireless charging. Like I, I literally, I can't remember the last time I actually connected up my phone to be wire charging. It's always MagSafe or wireless charging. Yeah, if you're willing to give up wireless charging and you want the most baller case that you can get, this is probably one of the baller cases that you can get. I also feel like it's quite understated. I don't think most people will know what this is unless you know what it is. Like it's one of those cases where if you know, you know. Um, even the packaging for it is pretty fancy. It comes in like this sort of like nice box here. I'll show it on camera. You unbox it inside the case is sitting on there, sort of like floating almost. It's, it's pretty nice, it's, it's really well done. But yeah, they even say on the box, this case is not compatible with wireless charging. So that's something to consider with this case. But I like it so much. Like I really do like it so much. I, I really want to use it, but I need MagSafe and I need wireless charging. So yeah, $180 a lot a lot of money but definitely the nicest case here now when it comes to which case am i personally going to use there are a few cases that i'm leaning towards these are all great cases by the way i feel like if anyone was looking for an iphone case these are all the ones i'm recommending but 
Now I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to share which ones I would choose out of the ones I would recommend for my own personal use case. And the ones that I like most are the Nomad case, these two Rhino Shield cases, and probably this Spigen case. The Mujo ones and the Nomad ones, they are quite similar in the way they are where they're both leather cases. But I just do think, you know, if you're, if you're willing to pay a bit more money, I do think the Nomad one is a bit more premium. It's, it's $70, so it's not cheap. But I do also think, do you really wanna, because this is why I didn't cover super, super budget iPhone cases, because I think to myself, if you're buying a $1,000 phone, do you really want to put it into a $10 iPhone case? I'd be wary, <laughs> because I'd be worried about $10 iPhone case. What is that actually going to do? It's probably not going to do that much. I'm sure there are some good ones out there, but I wanted to also go for brands that are reputable, that people know of, and I think all of these are, they've been in the game for ages, so they know what they're doing. They also usually get the mock-ups and the sort of dimensions for the phones directly from Apple before the phones even come out. So these case manufacturers are legit and they know what they're doing. So yeah, I think the Rhino Shield ones, this vegan one, this Nomad one, those are the four, those are the ones that I would choose out of this bunch, which are already an awesome bunch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will of course leave links to everything down in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my iPhone 15 Pro review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.